NFT art market shrunk by 98% just in one month. Yes, you hear it right. The value of certificates of ownership for digital images depicting monkeys has dropped from the value of a Ferrari to that of pack of cigarettes. And that is likely to stay that way. As someone who creates art professionally, I find it as rather something actually good for art itself. In this video, I will explain why NFT art didn't make sense from the very beginning and how I see the future of digital art. Okay. But let's first start with the basis. What is the purpose of art? I'm an artist who creates modern art in the large formats. I do graffiti, I do big printed digital artworks and I do mixed media, which is a little bit of mix of both. In short, I create paintings that people buy and hang them as a decoration in their homes in physical form. They can touch them, smell them, even lick them if they wish. I understand the purpose of art very simply, to create something cool and make the buyer want to show his decorated wall to his friends. And the friends will say, bro, it's awesome. Can I get something like that too? That's all, simple as that. I'm trying to create a win-win situation. I did the work and get paid and the client gets a unique decoration, which will make him a little bit happier. In the room, he hangs it. Hola hola, you might say that art is something more than that. What about the depth? What about the message? Okay guys, I have to be honest with you. As an artist, the idea of looking for the second metaphysical bottom in art is absolutely nonsense. It's nothing more than artistic marketing that has been used for ages just to convince people that it means something if they want to believe in it. It's a nonsense which doesn't sell very well in these days. Art is a decoration. It might be more or less sophisticated, original, bigger, smaller, but it's still a decoration. Let's leave the word changing things to the scientists. They are the ones who change the world. Artist's job is just to make it more visually pleasing. At least that's how it was most of the time. About a year and a half ago, people I spoke with increasingly began to suggest that I was falling behind with my approach and missing out on a great revolution. Three magical letters were being spoken like a mantra, NFT. In a nutshell, in terms of art, NFTs are digital images sold for cryptocurrencies. And that was the kind of art I was not creating. And according to people I've spoken with, we must create to survive as an artist. Celebrity artists such as Alec Monopoly started to talk about NFTs, pointing that it's a natural stage in the development of art. New York School of Art and then now there's street art. Yep. So that's like a whole school of art. And then I guarantee the next thing is going to be digital art. NFTs. And then the other celebrities started to talking about it. Snoop Dogg, Paris Hilton, Tony Hawk, Eminem, and that old model chick that used to do coke. They were all been telling us that it's a future and it got mad. Only during my week long stay in Dubai in the fall of 2021, a lot of unrelated people I've met tried to convince me to even abandon the creation of physical paintings in favor of NFTs. They offered me promotion, collaborations, and they were presenting me a vision of a very bright future. And as I create art on the iPad and computer, I'm using them in the wrong way. It sounded like that. Salvatore, it's a great opportunity. Brother, you currently sell paintings for 3,000, 5,000, 10,000 maximum. You sell them once and get the money. With NFTs, your art will be worth not thousands. It will be worth like tens or hundreds of thousands. What's more, now if you sell the painting once, you won't make any more money on this. With NFTs, the resale of your works, you will continue to make money forever because for each further sale, you'll get a commission. Brother, passive income for the rest of your life. Passive income for the future generations. NFTs are the future, my brother. Everyone will have NFTs and their value can only increase. Yeah, it sounded epic. I've already seen it with my eyes. Retirement at like 35 years old, passive income, God be Gatsy, and a heart attack from a Viagra overdose being 40 years old. But then a very important thing, it just got to me. None of these people were interested in buying my art. They were not interested in my story. They were not interested why I do things which I actually do. And that got me thinking because customers are usually interested about things like this. After all, they are buying an artist, not only an artwork. A part of his soul that they find cool enough just to put it on their walls. I 
started asking why someone would have paid the equivalent of dozens of my paintings for a certificate of ownership of a JPG file and how the buyers would want to interact with an artwork like that on a phone on metaverse on a virtual reality environment that was just announced and no one is using it maybe on a special screen that displays the nfts you own a tv that can display already all things in the world including the works of picasso leonardo da vinci or salvatore lax without paying a dime for this capability okay so what's then a difference in a having a picture with the certificate versus without the certificates just for the viewer i have not received a single meaningful answer to all these questions. People turned on the NFTs, they just wanted a quick profit and they wanted the biggest share of this profit. They used statements like, I will invest in you. That made me feel more like a stock in a stock market, not like an artist who creates cool stuff. And guys, believe me, I just love creating cool things. If I didn't like it, I would have continued working as a lawyer and I would never leave it for the arts in the first place. It got to me that this all NFT madness, it doesn't relate at all to the art purpose that I've mentioned at the very beginning of this video. If you don't appreciate talent, experience and a vision or just want to look at the cool picture at your home, what do you actually want to have? And why would you choose one artwork over another? It got to me that NFT art is pure speculation in which the product has no meaning. The artist doesn't matter. The wall you want to show to your friends, it doesn't exist. All that matters is just profit. It got to me that it cannot work in a long term for art. And the market for the NFT art itself actually never existed because no one didn't give a shit about art in the first place. The whole concept was broken because of the one thing. Imagine a revolutionary technology that would improve the world. It would make possible to securely sell real estate or any expensive items without leaving home. A way to secure patents and a method in which documents, tickets, voting results could not be forged. In short, a technology that would make data verifiable and secure. This is how the NFT is advertised, which is basically, in a nutshell, a digital certificate that is intended to be like unbreakable. And it's a tool for practical purpose. And it sounds very cool. And I sincerely believe that in a decade or so, it will be adapted in many different ways as a tool. Somehow, it managed to convince people that this tool can also serve art, something which is fundamentally impractical. But a large group of people were so much convinced that this practical tool is the future of impractical art and they started investing very serious money in it. They began to buy NFT tokens, representing a certificate of authenticity of human beings created from like few pixels for millions of dollars. So why did the NFT market shrink like 50 times and essentially cease to exist? As more people learned about the market and saw that it was possible to make money with it, they wanted to make money too. Who wouldn't eventually want to earn on some products without moving from the couch? And demand increased. The price of NFT rose. Deal after deal of NFTs, they reached higher and higher prices. And it was a classic speculative bubble, fueled by celebrities and influencers on an unregulated market where all you had to do to create your NFT was to hire an illustrator and commission him to create like 20 simple character variations. One having glasses, another with like green hair, a third one with a mustache and a fourth as a zombie. And having such a collection, all you had to do was to reach trusted investors who were hoping to get rich and that the value of their characters would just increase. After all, it used to work like that with other NFTs. So why wouldn't it work like this time? Especially that the artist is talented. And guys, the people who created this collection, they earned like millions of dollars. The markets on which these characters were listed earned a nice commission on each sale. It was like printing money, which enabled them to hire even better celebrities to promote their business. And the more people were believing them in the next big thing, investing their money into NFTs. Everything was taking on a snowball effect from day to day. And the snowball itself, it's just grew huge. Look at 
at this scale, the merch sold for $91 million. BP's everyday series, the first 5,000 days, $69 million. Or CryptoPunk's Pixel Man 5822 sold for $23.7 million. People were stunned by the vision of profit. Sky's the limit. And NFT is like a new Bitcoin. People who didn't invest into cryptocurrencies in the early days felt it was their time. Everyone will make money. Until the end of the world. A world full of billionaires is just awaiting us. And despite the staggering sales, after rising for two years straight, NFT sales collapse within a month. And the value of the market, well, it vanished. Why? The pool of people willing to pay more and more for the certificate of ownership for the virtual image it just ran out. People who spent their life savings on a GIF depicting a monkey began to panic and a large number of them wanted to sell their NFT art. And the problem was that nobody wanted to pay that much for it anymore. And prices began to fall rapidly. In addition, it all happened in the times of weakening economies after the COVID crisis. And if you add war between Russia and Ukraine and the recession on most markets, Boom. That's how the speculative bubble burst. The market crashed and the art which artistic value was not even valued by its buyers, it crashed too, drastically. Now let's return to the purpose of art. No one bought NFT art just to enjoy it and hang it in the living room for pleasure, not speculation. Not to brag about an avatar on social media, wanting to show that I have money to buy it. I can pay $600,000 for an avatar. No, no, no. At this point, many of you will probably think to yourselves, what are you talking about? This is just a temporary stagnation in the market. It happened before, which will return with the popularization of virtual worlds, also known as the metaverse. NFT suit perfectly to be enjoyed it in virtual reality, in a virtual home of the future. Well, no. In October last year, the creator of the largest social platform on the market, Mark Zuckerberg, wrote out a vision straight from the science fiction movies. A vision of the world where, when we put on VR Googles, we'll be transported to a place of the infinite possibilities. A place that has a potential to level the playing field and where everyone will be able to be who they want to be. In a metaverse, we were supposed to work, shop, enjoy artworks, play games and go to banks. And indeed, in the past year, we've seen the metaverse start flourishing. Microsoft has shown what the office of the future will look like. And banks had opened their virtual branches. Museums have not only entered the NFTs, but they also started coating virtual art collections into the virtual space. There was one small problem. Lack of people willing to be in this virtual world. According to the information published in the Business Insider, the first platform from Meta, the Horizon Worlds, currently has a whooping 200,000 active users. And Meta estimated at least 280,000 people by the end of 2022. CEO of Facebook, he assumed that there will be like half a million of people. The problem is that most of these virtual worlds, they just glow with emptiness. Most users abandon the virtual world after the first month and more than the half of the VR goggles are in use for only six months from the day of purchase. As if that wasn't enough, even the people who create Horizon Worlds are practically not using the platform. The vice head of the metaverse wrote to the employees, how can we expect others to love our product when we don't love it ourselves? And one conclusion emerged from all this information. No one wants the metaverse, not even the people who create it. And I think that VR might be the same failure as 3D. The technology is supposed to be easy and fun. And VR goggles are just too inconvenient and they require too much effort to use it. Trust me, it's not a good environment to enjoy art. So what does the future hold for the NFT art? I don't think anyone knows. But to make it work, its goal should be an aesthetic experience, given in an accessible form. And making money on it cannot be a goal itself. And when this new art will arrive, how will it look? My guess is that it will be similar to pop art. Why? See you in the next video.